Hi guys! Alright, so in this recording I'm going to cover factory annotation which is the last topic of this course. What is factory annotation? A lot of us get confused when it comes to factory annotation and it's actually not confusing. I'll try and explain it in the easiest possible way. Let me go through the slide first. Factory annotation marks a method as factory. That means I'm going to annotate a method with factory annotation and this method will act as a factory that returns objects that will be used by test ng as test classes. So this line is important. It returns objects. So the return type will be objects that will be used by test ng as test classes. Now you're going to un understand this when I'll take you to Eclipse. The method must return an object array. Okay, fine. Factories allow you to create tests dynamically. How? I'll tell you in a while. Let me take you to Eclipse. Okay, now here's a class, normal class with five functions f1, f2, f3, f4, f5. I've not done anything as yet. Now let's say I want to run these test cases 10 times, each test case 10 times. Okay, so you will say fine, a can should just put invocation count is equal to 10 everywhere. I'll say yes, that can be done. Now, let's say I've got another task class, which is logging into Facebook. Okay, uh, I think I have it already. I'll just open it. Okay, that's my class. So, let's say I want to go to Facebook and you will say, okay, fine, like you've put invocation count is equal to 2 here. You put invocation count is equal to 10 if you want to invoke this 10 times. Okay, that can be done. But right now, in this test class, I've got just one function, go to Facebook. What if I log into my Facebook, then I want to click on some link, you know, on my feed anywhere. So I'll have another function here, at the rate test. Now, do you want me to put invocation count is equal to 10 there also? Just, just think about it. Now, if I'm clicking on some link, and if I put invocation count is equal to 10, first of all, I'll get an issue. The reason is I have to relate the test cases together, maybe alphabetically because I need to do some sequencing or I will do depends on or I'll do something else. So there will be some complicacy or the other that gets added here. Now, what if I just want to execute this class 10 times? Okay, as a whole, because that will help me achieve the purpose. I want to run this entire class as a test class 10 times. Now you will say, okay, fine. Just do right click, run as test ng test 10 times. Okay, fine. I can do that as well. But what if I give you some facility to do the same thing using a function? So that's what this factory class is meant for. Now if you look at this what I've done here is there's just a function named invoke objects. Its return type is an object array and I've annotated it with at the rate factory. Okay I have written everything that was written on the slide. Now what can I do here because the other thing that was written there is it returns objects that will be used by test NGS test classes. Okay, now what am I what am I supposed to dear, do here is first of all create an object array. So I'll say object, let's say data is equal to new object. Okay, let's say I want to create five objects. All right, done. Now this is giving me error because it, because it wants me to return something. But before I return something, I need to fill in this array. So what I'll do, I'll just do, okay, what you can do for me is just put some new object, just call some new object here. Because that's the purpose of factory, calling a test ng class object. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say new test factory annotation. Okay. Done. Now, if I want to do this five times, what I'll do? Just do control C, control V, enter control V, enter control V, enter control V. I'll put one here, two here, three here, and four here. Done. 
Now what I'm doing here is I'm invoking the entire class five times. Okay? And what is this? This is an object. Now I will say return data. Done. So I have written everything that was written on the slideshow. Alright? Okay. Now how will I run it? Now this class will be run actually. So what I'll do, I'll say right click, run as test ng test. So let's see what happens now. All right, cool. Now F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, they got executed five times. They got executed, all the functions in, the, uh, in that class got executed five times. So I've achieved my purpose. What else can you do here? What else can you do, do here? Now, let's say you've got functions and you want to run your functions with different parameters. Okay, with different parameters. How will you do so? So, you can do that by, let's get back to our test class. What I'll do here is, I will create a constructor of this class. Now, all of you know why do we use constructors? We use constructors if we want to instantiate or initialize something. Okay, here I want to give some value to a parameter. I want to initialize a parameter with some default value, let's say. So I'll just say public test factory annotation. Okay. Constructor. So it, it has con created a constructor for me. Now what I'm going to do here is remove public that twice. I'll create a param here. So I'll say int param is uh, that's it int param and then here I'm gonna parameterize my constructor so I will just say int param because I want to execute these test cases using this parameter but every time I call this entire class all right I call these functions I want to execute them with different parameters okay so who will help me my factory class will help me in that now I will simply say this dot param is equal to param. Why this dot param? Because both of them have the same name, both the variables. So I want to make sure that the left hand side is the one from the current instance, that is current class. And this one is a parameter coming into this constructor. Okay, fine, done. Now I'll simply say sysout. I'll just print the param. Okay, I'll say inside F1, inside F1 function, okay, done, and this. So I'm going to print the function name along with the param. I'll just copy paste this entire thing everywhere. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, and Control V. Okay, control save. I'll just change the name of the function. This is F2. This is F3. This is F4. And this is F5. Control save. What do I need here? Now, this is going to call my constructor, but I don't have a normal constructor here. Okay, I've got a parameterized constructor and that's the reason it's giving me this issue. Now, let's say I want to invoke this entire class. Okay, I want to invoke this object with different parameters. The need can be any. Need can be any there. I mean, you want to uh, do, I mean, consider any example. You want to send some parameter every time you invoke that class the value of that parameter has to be different so let's say i'm saying one here i'm saying two here it can be a string also it can be a long value also it can be email ids or passwords or anything anything okay all right done now i'm gonna run this factory class right click run as test ng test can you see that so all the test cases got executed and look at this f1 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 with these values 1 2 3 4 5 then f2 then f3 then f4 then f5 
okay now let's go back to factory class now you can see here I'm sending one two three four five so obviously every time my test class that is test factory annotation gets invoked function f1 will run with all these five parameters then f2 will run with all the parameters f3 f4 and f5 so I'm calling this entire class as an object with five different parameters this is how you will use factory annotation when you want to invoke the entire test class in test ng then you can use factory annotation the next question arises what is the difference between data providers and factory annotation so data providers are meant to send parameters okay when I was telling you this now let's say I want to invoke go to Facebook with different parameters because if I want to invoke it 10 times I will not invoke it with Ashish Mishra and this password again and again I will invoke it by using different user IDs and passwords for which I will obviously use data providers right so now you will say okay do that fine but like I said if I have other functions then will you again do something or will you just again complicate the class no what you can do here is if you if there's an any other function which needs this email ID and password for example okay just create a factory class here when you call test factory annotation provide that user ID and password now that user ID and password will be passed to your constructor and from here when I will assign these email ID and passwords you can use them in any test function in your test class so that's the purpose of using factory factory annotation and that's the difference between factory annotation and data providers data providers are basically used to provide the parameters data but here I'm using factory annotation to invoke an entire test ng test class again and again with different parameters okay I hope now you understand the difference between factory annotation and data providers and obviously what is factory annotation if you have any question feel free to post your question alright guys thank you very much bye